What's up guys, welcome to IT Security Labs. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Security Onion in VMware Workstation. In particular, how to mirror traffic so that Security Onion can analyze it. You can use VirtualBox or VMware Workstation and you need to have downloaded that. So what is Security Onion? Security Onion is a free open source network security monitoring tool. It's also an IDS solution. And right now it comes with elastic stack. You're going to see Security Onion in action in this lab. I'll be showing you some graphs on how security works in my VMware workstation environment. Right now I'll show you how it's set up. I have um, Security Onion, I have uh, Windows 10, I have Kali Machine, and I have Metasploitable. These virtual machines should all mirror the traffic to Security Onion. So that's how we're going to do this today. This is our network diagram where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be using. So what's happening is your security onion is going to be in your laptop, which is connected to your WAN. And then there's going to be a mirror and a LAN and also a bridged network as you can see in the diagram. So what you're going to be using mostly is going to be uh, PFSense to mirror the traffic between LAN and the mirror port that end up in Security Onion. So what you're looking at right now, as you can see in the diagram, is Security Onion, and Security Onion is connected to this mirror network in your VMware or in your virtual box. And the mirror network that you'll be looking at down there in the LAN are the same if you look right now I'm going to do a comparison between the diagram and that that's the bridge network between your laptop and your computer and that is your LAN network which is very local to your machine and that's your spam port which uh, PFSense is going to create which is also which is also a mirror port and that's security onion so as you can see this is, this is a diagram that I'm using. There's Kali and also you have your other machines. Again, just to recap, that's the bridge network, which is shared, and that's PFSense, which is right there. And also, you have a port mirror and also a LAN network. And if you go to Security Onion settings, actually, if you just sign in to Security Onion, you'll be able to see that we'll be able to get a lot of traffic from everything once the mirroring starts. So this is the end result right here. If we mirror traffic that's going to the LAN, we're able to create these dashboards, and that's the overview dashboard. As you can see, we can see the number of logs that we have. We can see a lot of information about the network that we are monitoring using Security Onion. So we're just going to exit Security Onion for a second, and if you install VirtualBox, it doesn't matter, it should still work. So VirtualBox or VMware, it doesn't really matter. It should they should both work. So don't don't even worry about that part. And then um, the first thing that you need is to install and configure PFSense. Uh, the installation is out of the scope for this, but you need to be able to create three interfaces in your PFSense. And the first thing that you need to make sure you do is you have your LAN and your WAN. And your WAN interface should have DHCP enabled. So you should just get a WAN through DHCP and a LAN through static. And I set it to 10, 10, 10 10.1, such 24. And I enabled DHCP on the LAN interface. So that's very important. Then when you actually go to your VMware Fusion, you will notice that you also create a LAN interface. You uncheck all the boxes so you don't do any DHCP here since your LAN is doing DHCP. The other part is optional where you allow it to have internet or not. I have internet on mine, but for your own safety, I suggest you don't do that. Then you also create a mirror interface. Go ahead and assign all other machines to your LAN so that they can get to DHCP machine. Um, network and you can access your LAN 
through a browser as you can see I just signed into my Windows machine and right now once I'm in my PFSense you can access PFSense using your of course your URL you know make sure that your line is enabled and you have a static IP if you didn't do it through the command line and enable DHCP and assign a DHCP, a DHCP range as you can see in there you can go to your DHCP server to verify that information that your DHCP is actually enabled and for me I'm setting a 10.10.10.10 to 10.10.10.245 that's uh, my range just you know for the lab so it doesn't matter make sure to save and once you save that information make sure that every other machine is also set up to be in that LAN for example your security onion should be in the LAN the first interface should be in the LAN as you can see right here then the second interface you should assign it to the mirror interface which we created in your VMware workstation or virtual box the mirror interface doesn't need an IP address and as you can see that's the mirror and that's the LAN that information is very helpful you need to actually be able to distinguish those two interfaces and I did put uh, the names over there no IP address there and a 10.10.10.0 IP address on the other one then you want to make sure that your Kali Linux machine is also in the just the LAN interface in the 10.10.10.0 then uh, Metasploitable is just also in the LAN interface which is also the same as 10.10.10.0 that's very important you don't want to put it in the mirror interface just the LAN interface and they should all get DHCP addresses after everything is set up and done my Windows 10 machine has two interfaces the one is set up to uh, share with the Mac MacBook because I like that and the second one is also in the LAN so as you can see since I'm already on the LAN I can actually sign into Security Onion because that's how uh, easy it is to actually get it set up and done can verify that the IP address is done by pinging my default gateway pfSense and also an IP config will show me that I am actually using pfSense as my default gateway which is also my DHCP server so that's how I have everything set up so if you do this you should be able to work and your metasploitable should also be in the same um, LAN interface and you should have DHCP minus 10.10.10.14 10 10 that's very important because now we know that the traffic is going through the, only the LAN interface so we sign into our security onion we should now be able to verify that you know right now we don't have any traffic from this timestamp I'm just restarting squeal make sure that everything is actually clean because after this we have to test that mirroring to make sure that it's working we're going to use Kali for that but now just select all it doesn't matter we should only select one but for now that will, that will matter so as you can see everything is from a long time ago from 2018 or the ones from today are from three hours ago when I was testing everything so we're just verifying that everything is clear then we go to our Kali machine actually made exploitable we can verify that it's our 10.10.10.14 10 10 then if we go to Kali Kali should now be able to start a port scan to made exploitable using um, we're just going to use ZenMap because that's easier to see for videos and we're going to target specifically that IP address 10.10.10.14 so we are attacking one machine to another in the LAN part we want to make sure that that traffic goes to Metasploitable and also our security onion should be able to intercept that traffic as you can see this machine is just vulnerable it's really vulnerable it's not even funny <laughs> it shouldn't have any internet access and anyone shouldn't 
So if we exit out of Kali right now and go straight to our security onion, we should see security onion should be able to show us a lot of uh, port scans are running. As you can see in our squeal, squeal should be able to tell us that our Kali machine is issuing a lot of uh, potential port scans. So 10.10.10.12 is Kali. And as you can see, it's going to 10.10.10.14. And there's a lot of uh, information there. So we know for a fact that our port scans are working. So we can even go to Kibana just to make sure that everything is working. And in Kibana, you can see that the number of um, logs generated went straight up the moment we started doing that. And we can see a lot of other information, which shows that our 10.10.12, which is our Kali, is indeed doing a port scan to 10.10.10.14, which is our Metasploitable. So this is just proof that our port mirroring is working. And there's more that we can do. You can even go back to Squill. You can, you know, just make sure that you can see the events in there. But also, you can go straight to Kibana through the um, pivoting method that you can use source or destination IP. And you can still see the same thing. This is just a query that you do from Squill to Kibana if you're really trying to correlate the events. So as you can see, in here you're going to notice that we have a lot of events because that was a support scan. So that's more information that you can see in Kibana about this port scan. It's more data as you can see there's more things you can see in there. 10.10.10.12 is just showing up everywhere right now. So guys, that's how you can prove that you can mirror a port in VMware Workstation or in your virtual box. You can go back to Kali and you can see that Kali finished the scan. These are all the open ports in Metasploitable. And that's exactly why our Security Onion IDS was complaining about all these events. So in summary, we have the LAN with the mirror port and in addition to that, we have this network diagram that shows that we're going from the WAN, we're going to the shared network diagram. PFSense is issuing two different networks for Security Onion, and that's the port mirror, uh, the mirror port, and also the LAN. And as you can see, we unchecked those. So that's how we do these things, guys. And if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, this video has been wonderful. I was excited to get this working and I'll be creating more PFSense Security Onion videos. So stay tuned. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next videos.